recording right now. Um, I don't know why it's recording a transcription, but <laughs> anyhow, I don't even know how to dismiss that. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. It is Lindsay and my first um, inaugural <laughs> communication webinar, and we're very excited. Um, the communication webinar is basically just to prov uh, provide um, information about CSBG, federal, legislative, local, and other relevant information to you guys. Um, as mentioned, we will be uploading this webinar to the state of Nevada's YouTube link um, within a day or two, and I believe Lindsay will be posting it on NCAA's website as well. Um, please feel free to ask us questions. They will, we will have a designated um, Q&A session too. And um, Lindsay, do you want to say a few words? I will just back up everything you said. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, we really appreciate it. Let us know what you think of these. We want these to be the most beneficial for you guys in attendance. So if there's anything that you want to know more information about or that we're not addressing in this, we can definitely tweak it for the next one. Um, you know, we're kind of playing with it right now. So um, your feedback is uh, well appreciated. So thanks. And as you join in, please mute yourself um, so that we don't get any um, white noise in the background. And I will start presenting. Uh, Lindsay, you can see my screen, right? Yep. OK. Great. And if I'm going too fast, please tell me to slow down. OK, so. The agenda um, for the state's presentation um, is the welcome note, federal updates and GMU updates, which is the grant management unit. Um, we are, I am going to start showcasing the actual allocations for all of the CSBG money, the pass through, so that you, in full transparency, there is a CSBG pipeline, which basically highlights um, upcoming deadlines. And then I would like to go ahead and do a CA spotlight. And I think Lindsay and I will kind of um, choose which CAAs to um, spotlight um, every two weeks. So that'll be a really mm -hmm. cute to show what your peers are doing. Um, OK, so federal updates. Oh, when I pause, I'm letting people in. So sorry about that. Um, OK, so federal updates, as you all know, 200% um, federal poverty level has been substituted till December 3rd, 2021. Now, you guys may use 200 to substitute for 125, and this is applicable for FY21 CSBG CARES and FY22 CSBG funds, but till December 3rd, 2021. After that date, on December 4th, it reverts to 125%. Um, I also included a fun little nugget, CSBG data nugget that I got from a, the NASCAB newsletter. And it's just to show the impact of the CSBG dollars nationwide. I don't really think I need to read that out, but just something cute. Um, I do have a couple of grant management unit updates. Uh, the bi-weekly communication webinar, which is this one, has two different calendar invites, and I'm sorry about that, but that's just how Outlook was dealing with it. So one would be for second Thursday or every one, and the other one will be for the fourth Thursday. And as mentioned, all 12 CAAs will have to be represented, whether it's you or someone from the programmatic side. Um, the org standards. They've already been sent out. You should all be working on it. If you have any questions, let me know. Supplemental sub awards will be issued soon. I am waiting for to receive the final RFRs from all of you guys. As you know, the deadline is always October 15th. Um, monitoring emails will be disseminated soon. I'm kind of working on the package and the plan is all 12 CAAs will be monitored um, FY22. Um, I have just finished 
um, creating the first annual report feedback memos for you guys. Uh, in the next webinar, I'll, I'll kind of go through what the memos will look like, and some of the memos will have comments on specific modules and how you will and how you will respond to those comments. So I'm going to walk you through everything, and then right after that webinar, I'll be sending out all your annual report feedback. Um, NCAA has just been awarded with $107,000 for your training needs, and I believe Lindsay already has it all squared away with what she wants to do, and I'll let her explain that on her end. Um, the GERS, which is the Grant Instructional Requirements, has been revised, and I sent out an email with the link last week. Um, it is just um, the expectations in managing your programs and reporting up to us. And let's see, the, I have, Lindsay and I have set together and created the CSBG calendar and also the training calendar, which is, ta-da! <laughs> um, this is basically like how everything will look like, and this calendar will be shared with you guys um, every year. Sorry, I'm letting somebody in. And um, as you can see, this is the timeline. Um, as you guys know, I tend to, like the org standards were supposed to be emailed out to you guys in October, but I did it a bit earlier because I'm all about giving you guys plenty of time. And um, and so I am happy to um, send out this calendar to you guys in an email um, if you want me to. Um, but this is basically what I have, what we have kind of projected. So in, for example, in March of next year, we're going to start the state plan in March. And it's going to be, it's, I want you guys to be super involved with the state plan. Um, so it's, we're going to take plenty, a couple of months just to get all of the state plan in order and then submit it in August. Okay. So Tisa, are you planning on sending that to us? Cause I sure would like it. And second of all, thank you for, uh, for funding NCAA. And third of all, um, December 3rd, hopefully David and Congress will extend and or uh, approve the budget so it will actually be 200 percent right <laughs> yes hopefully hopefully thank you leslie um doo -doo 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 -doo. uh people who are just onboarding please mute yourself so that just want to lower any background noise um, and Leslie, yes, I will send out the CSPG calendar um, in the email where I where I post the link for the YouTube. And then this is the CSPG base allocation. This is what every single CAA has received. Um, I know some of your subawards have been fully approved. Others are in the process. Um, please bear in mind that amendments will be issued in spring of 2022 to augment your base allocation once OCS releases the funds to Nevada. And in the next webinar, I will have a picture of the variance of exactly how much will be augmented. And then and then hopefully by then, well, maybe not because we're still waiting for the RFRs. I'll have more information about when I can start soliciting um, your supplemental scope and budget. But this is the pass through and I will be doing this for every single pass through allocation in full transparency. Another question on that, Tisa, with the 2020 um, results in, in terms of, um, you know, the change in population and all of that great stuff, is that going to impact the allocation in any way, shape or form? So Connie and I have talked about it, uh, about re-looking at the census data. That is what you're referring to, right, Leslie? That is exactly, sorry, I was multitasking. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. And I think it's it's high time. I think even in the mandates, we have to look at it every 10 years. So yeah, we, we definitely should be looking at the allocation in terms of the population right now. So that is in the pipeline, Leslie. Okay, so see if this is the CSVG pipeline and essentially this has all of the deadlines. So 
Your our final RFR for your FY21 base is due October 15th. Um, please, that's tomorrow. Please get it in, guys. My fiscal team, they they you know they stress out a lot. Um, the 21 supplemental scopes and budgets, as mentioned, I will let you know when to send them. Um, CSBG success stories, please send them to uh, Lindsay and I. Um, and I want I want to make this ongoing because we really want to um, showcase each of your um, work, each of your peer work in these communication webinars. Um, organizational org standards due October 29th. <coughs> And we have a quarterly CAA, GMU, and SA State Association meeting on December 1st. Again, this is mandated. All 12 CAAs has to be represented. And then the first spotlight for this webinar is actually CSA. And um, they um, held their annual National Night Out, which is a community building campaign that promotes police community partnerships and neighborhood camaraderie. Um, and um, Lindsay was kind enough to send um, a picture. And Lindsay, I don't know, I'm putting on the spot. Do you want to briefly talk about the event or not? Did, did you ask me? I, I think Lindsay, Leslie sent Leslie, this picture. Sorry. Yeah, OK. Yeah, no, it's OK. Leslie, not Lindsay. <laughs> Leslie, go for it. Uh, you are putting me on the spot. Um, sure. So we have an agreement with uh, Raleigh, who actually is um, counter countering Big Pharma. And part of their their entire focus has been on um, safely disposing of drugs, especially seniors. Um, so we've been working with them for, I think I started that partnership when I came on board, so about three and a half years. And they provided us funding and unfortunately, our first annual was OK. Um, our, our second annual obviously was this time, but because of the pandemic, it, we, we had to take a hiatus for a couple of years, which was really unfortunate because uh, but it also allowed us a, a, a bigger opportunity to plan better. And so um, we had it in a park, which is in a lower income neighborhood um, outside inside of Reno. And we had over uh, 650 folks come. Uh, we had food bank there distributing food boxes. Um, and then all of our partners, they're distributing information about programming and services available. We had a DJ. So a lot of folks were dancing. Um, we had a lot of fun uh, kids activities, including a bounce house. And then um, I, I will tell you, we had a lot of donations community wide. And as a matter of fact, one of our local food stores, uh, grocery stores actually donated everything for 600 people to uh, wow. partake in a, um, a full hot dog, hamburger, potato chip uh, lunch, which was pretty incredible. So okay. they, they, um, they had a great time. And um, our partnership with the Reno um, Police Department and Washoe County Sheriff's Department, um, I, I can't I can't say enough. They helped us tremendously on this because they really want that partnership and their entire focus is really to be in the communities as a community service um, organization versus a policing organization. So this is this is kind of that gig that we do annually for that. Thank you. I, cer I certainly didn't do anything. It was all my great staff. Yay. Well, thank you so much. And I asked Leslie, I said, oh, next time, can you please invite me? Because I would love to, um, sh you know, show and experience that. Um, thank you. And thank you for sending this um, great spotlight information, too. Um, I am going to hold off on questions until Lindsay is done with her presentation so that um, you guys can all ask us questions together. And that is it. Um, Thank you so much, guys. And I'm going to stop presenting and let you take over, Lindsay. Wonderful. OK. How does that look? Good? OK. OK, so um, yeah, I guess I'll take over from Tisa. Just a few updates of what's going on right now currently at the association. Um, 
first and foremost, um, we are going to be finishing up our strategic planning session on October 19th. Um, we had a few things that we didn't quite finish last time, and we just, Deborah and I were talking and thought that it would be appropriate to spend another half day to just kind of tie up some of those loose ends. So earlier this week, I sent out an email with our um, framework that we had come up with and then our working plan as well. So hopefully everybody has seen that, had a chance to look at it. Um, if not, if you could please take a peek at it and then come prepared next Tuesday to have a conversation about that, that would be great. Um, in addition to that, just another reminder, we're going to be talking about those subcommittees. Um, that we talked about during the last strategic planning session, and we'll be assigning those subcommittees at that time. So, you know, we had planned on those four different strategic areas for a strategic planning session, and then we would like to have three people per, um, per goal area um, in those subcommittees. So it's really important that you show up um, have the conversation with us and, you know, just really, um, really helps to have everyone be involved um, so that we can move the association forward. Um, if you're unable to attend, I do want to mention, um, you know, if you could take a peek at the work plan, take a peek at the framework that we've talked about, and then just shoot me an email or let's plan a call together. I'd really like everybody's feedback. I know not everybody can come. We all have, you know, busy, busy schedules and calendars. So, um, just reach out to me or Deborah and let's let's just have a conversation to see if there's any edits that you'd like to make in that. Um, additionally, I know we talked about this a little bit at the end of our last strategic planning session, but I do want to touch on it again. If your agency needs help with your own strategic plan, let me know. We've hired Deborah Campbell to help work one-on-one -on -one with your agency to help revamp, improve, or, you know, create a whole new strategic plan for your agency if you feel like that's something that you need. Um, shoot me an email, give me a call, um, or give Deborah a call, and we can start working on that um, in the future here. Um, a few things that we've got going on as far as awareness goes, I've broken this down into uh, our four, four goal areas. Um, I think it's just kind of a good way to keep us all on track. Um, as Tisa mentioned, we've got some additional CARES dollars. Very, very excited about that. So we're going to use that for um, you know, marketing and communications uh, mainly. So we've got a pretty good chunk of money to use for that. And I've reached out to two different consulting agencies thus far. I had a great conversation with one last week. They walked me through this entire presentation of what they could offer the association. Um, they did all this research on our website, where we're hitting as far as like, you know, Google marketing, SEO, all these things that I don't know too much about. Um, but they really broke it down um, and showed us, you know, like when people, you know, Google, um, you know, needing a certain service in Nevada, what shows up, um, where are they being directed? And then they compared that to what's being shown in different states. So that was really wonderful. I'm really, really looking forward to working with them. They seem like a great, um, great organization. And they've also um, decided to give us 30% off since we are a nonprofit. So really 90% um, sure that I'm going to move forward with them. I was pretty blown away by all of the work that they did. And I'm really, um, really looking forward to just increasing the association's awareness um, in the state of Nevada and on the national level. Um, I am going to ask, and the Kel Kappa team who's been helping us with our social media has asked um, if you guys have any big plans for the holidays coming up, if your agencies are doing anything as far as toy drives, clothing drives, food drives. I know we all do these big pushes for the holidays. Let me know um, sooner than later so we can really highlight you guys on our social medias, make sure that we're talking about everything that's going on in the state of Nevada and that we're, um, you know, just letting the community know what's going on and what's um, out there for them. Um, I, Tisa mentioned the highlight uh, for the CAAs. I know we're going to do that biweekly on these webinars, but we're also going to do that monthly with our social medias. So um, I believe I saw Lawrence on this call, but I was talking with the girls over at Cal Kappa and they want to highlight EOB this upcoming month. So for November, 
Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, because they're they're in um, Vegas right now, and they had plans to meet with you. So we thought that that would be just kind of a good time to to coordinate efforts and to highlight you guys um, as our first first community action agency um, for the month of November. Yep, sounds good. They're here looking at different facilities. So. Perfect, perfect, good. That makes me happy. Um, last bit is November is um, Native American month. Um, so if there's anything you guys are doing as far as um, any programs that you have that are directly um, you know, helping the Native American population, please let me know that as well and we will make sure to put that out on our socials. Moving forward to advocacy, I sent out an email yesterday. Um, I received an email yesterday um, from David Bradley and the people that he's working with, and he would like to meet with us collectively as an association next week. And I know that that's very quick, and in their email, they apologize profusely that it's very quick, um, but it's a 15-minute meeting. Would like to have the majority of our members there. So I sent out a doodle poll yesterday. There's quite a bit of time um, next Thursday and Friday that he has available. Um, but if you guys could please, please, please respond to that ASAP. I will get back to him by the end of business today. And then I can send out um, an invitation um, with the Zoom link and everything. But he wants to talk about the reauthorization of CSBG. So uh, he really would like our feedback. Um, so if you guys could look at that and get back to me, that would be great. I know it's a bit last minute, but it's a really good opportunity for our voices to be heard. So I don't know if anyone has any questions about that, but big highlight and um, big highlight on that one. Okay, moving forward. Capacity building. Oh, okay. And then do you know what he wants to talk about? Does he just want support out of Nevada? Is that what he's looking for? Yeah, I think he just wants support, and I think he wants to update us on, on what's going on. So he just asked for, for 15 minutes of our time to, to kind of um, chat with us um, about a variety of things. It wasn't too specific on the email that was sent. Um, okay, moving forward, we've got a wonderful needs assessment training coming up November 2nd. Everybody should have received that email by now. I know not everybody is able to attend, but we had to pick that date based on the majority. Um, uh, Crescendo, who's gonna be hosting that training, they have requested that all of us complete a survey. I know I send out a lot of surveys, so thank you guys for filling out another one. There's only nine questions, it's pretty quick. They just wanna know they just want to be able to tailor the training appropriately is basically what it is. Um, this training will be recorded and it will be placed on our website. So if you are unable to attend, it will be there for you to see it at a later date. Um, kind of similar to how Deborah has agreed to help us with one-on-one -on -one training. Um, Crescendo has also helped um, agreed to help us with one-on-one -on -one needs assessment training. If you feel like your agency needs that, please reach out to me and we can talk about that. Um, and you know, do a little bit of a deeper dive in addition to that half day training that they're going to be giving. Um, our funding for our trauma-informed training has been approved, so that's fantastic. So uh, we are moving forward with that. Please be look on a lookout for another lovely doodle poll um, regarding a date for that training. Um, at this time, you know, we're going to be starting with a kickoff meeting, and then it's going to be an entire year that they're going to be working with us. So since we are right now in the middle of October, um, I'm thinking probably mid-November for that first day kickoff training. So keep your eyes open for that. We should hear something. Um, they're getting some dates for me. So um, probably in the next week or two. And let's see. Lastly, um, next board meeting is going to be on November 10th at 1 p.m. We're going to be voting on our new officers, so please, please, please attend. We're also going to be voting on new meeting times for 2022. I know um, not everybody is able to attend the, the current meeting time and dates that we've got set, so we're going to just take a look at that and see if we can tweak that going into the new year, since we will not have a board meeting in December. 
Um, last little blurb, the majority of you have paid your membership dues, but if you have not, um, please, here's just a friendly reminder to do so. You will be getting an email from me um, with another reminder from that as well. And that is it for me as far as association updates go at this time. Um, I guess Tisa and myself, does anybody have any questions? Questions or feedback on or this feedback. webinar? Yes. Now you know I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Well, probably not so much a question, but uh, just an announcement for the general group. So over the last 30 days or so, we've been getting inundated with all these different phishing emails. Um, they look, they have one of two different formats. Uh, one is um, an email that looks like uh, Microsoft Outlook has sent you a notice about a either a voicemail or uh, some kind of file for you to open and they look mm -hmm. extremely authentic. Um, so be careful for those and they come from what looks like your phone system. So be careful of that. And then second and probably more dangerous, we've gotten a rash of uh, ransomware attempts from emails tailored to look like they come from legitimate nonprofits. And I mean, they look exactly like um, the, the ones that we've been getting have been from United Way, Catholic Charities, Lutheran Social Services. And it, they've gone out to hit these different websites, pull their information, create an email tailored to look like it's exactly from them. And then they send it to you with a fake Gmail or some kind of foreign email address. So we had a couple of hits on those and we're revamping our email system so it may be a minute if you've sent us something it may have gotten caught in uh, spam or our filters but be very careful of those because they are ransomware That's wow it. thank you lawrence i mean the state has been dealing with the same issue um with um emails that look very authentic and the voicemail thing so yeah Thank you for that PSA, Lawrence. Um, no anybody problem. Else? <laughs> um, Shannon did ask Lindsay if you could resend the doodle poll, I think for um, David Bradley's meeting. Yeah, I'm putting it in right now. So there you guys go. That should work for you. Do you guys have any feedback? Like, is this OK? Like, we want to keep it very short and sweet but we want to give you guys room to interact with us, ask questions or share stuff um, that's relevant for all. I like it. Yay, Good. thank you. <laughs> Good. Courage. Yeah, and if there's, if there's any other information you'd like to know, just, just let us know. We can easily add it moving forward. Corinne, did you want to say something? You unmuted yourself. I was just say I like it and I like the PowerPoint that you put up. If you could just also, as you stated earlier, send that out. That would be helpful to make sure we got the meetings in our calendar. Oh, you want us to send out our PowerPoints as well? Yes, please. OK. And then, Lindsay, maybe we can both send out um, the your TTA calendar and then the state's um, CSPG. So we can just put it in one email. Yeah, that sounds great. And we'll also be putting that on the calendar on the website. It's not done yet, but it's a work in progress. So as soon as that is up and running, I think that'll be a great resource for everybody to kind of have a one stop shop um, for what's happening um, between the state and the association. But we will get that email sent out now. So there's I'm looking at the list. There's five agencies represented, so I'm hoping all 12 CAAs will be joining us because um, Lindsay and I do put in the work to um, make this informative and also just relevant for you guys. So I, I will send out another email about asking everyone to make sure that all 12 CAAs are being represented. So I'm sorry if it's if I'm going to sound like an unbroken record. 
Um, but that's it. If nobody has anything else, um, Lindsay, I don't want to keep people. Nope. Lindsay, I think I that sounds question. good. Lindsay, I do have one question. I went back and looked for that doodle poll. Uh huh. For needs assessment, but it was just a survey, right? So you haven't figured out dates yet, right? We have a date for the needs assessment. It's November 2nd. November 2nd, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. But there is another survey that's attached to that that Crescendo just asked as like a pre-training survey just to gauge where everybody's at right now before they finalize. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, if there's nothing else, we're going to end it and uh, be back here in two weeks' time for some more cool stuff from Lindsay and I. Thank you. <laughs> right. Thank Bye, you guys. for attending. Have a good day. Thank you.